I'm here with Rick Loss from Butchart Gardens. Hi, Rick. Hey, Gord. Great to have you here. Well, thanks for having us back. You know, last time we had a look at those wonderful flowering cherries, and uh, I wanted to point out some of these magnificent flowering crab apples that you have here. You guys have quite a few sort of set around the gardens, don't we got, you? We got a, quite a few varieties here. Probably the most dominant variety here is the Japanese flowering crab apple, the right. Malus floribunda. Okay. But yeah, they're. People don't spend a lot of time thinking about crab apples in their gardens, but uh, yeah, they're a wonderful addition to your spring display. They really are, and they have such rich, deep colors to them, which I really enjoy. Like particularly this one. What what variety is this one? This one's Profusion, the variety okay. Profusion, and and what what's interesting with the the crab apples. Typically, the flowers come out the same time as the foliage. Right. So a lot of times, the the flowers or the flower petal color will set off or be set off against the foliage that's emerging at the same time. Yeah, it's got that that nice sort of dark bronzy color to it. Yeah, they're great. Now, the other nice thing that I love about the uh, the crabs that you have is so many different forms. Um, now, I understand you even have a topiary uh, crab apple around here. We do have a, a small little old variety in the Japanese garden called Lizette, which probably no one has heard of. But yeah, it's been trained and people look at it and are amazed that what we've done with a crab <laughs> apple. These are, these are thing that, things that are usually not done at all with, uh, with these kind of trees. Crabs. But they naturally have this sort of, uh, I guess you could say, gnarly sort of look to them. Um, now, how old would a tree like this be? This tree is probably about 60 to 65 years old, planted shortly after the rose garden was, was established here. Yeah, the structure, yeah, they do get this, this great look once they age, and that, that's another feature for off-season. Not a lot of plants have that off-season beauty but, or interest, but crab apples are particularly interesting. They really are. Now, what variety is this one? This is a Floribunda rosea, oh, okay. which is a, a deeper rose color or pink color than the, the, your typical Floribunda. Okay. Now, the other one we looked at had sort of a bronzy leaf. This one has a nice green leaf it, to an accent to it. It has a, a great green leaf, and, and one of the things that's also neat about it is the fruit. Oh, okay. The crab apples that come later, and as the trees get older, they're not as proficient in, in the amount of fruit that they produce, but they produce a nice yellow fruit. Again, that carries you into late fall, early winter and okay. for more interest in your garden. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the devil's advocate. All the people say, I don't want fruit, I don't want mess. <laughs> Are crab apples a very messy tree? Depends, you know, you kind of, you, you take the good with the bad. For, from an ornamental perspective, it's wonderful. For birds, uh, it's wonderful. It's an attractant as well. So it does attract some wildlife into your garden. Okay, interesting. Now, what other varieties do you guys have? Because I know you have, well, you know, four or five at least Yeah, here. we've got the variety Royalty, okay. which is another, it's a deep red with deep red fruit and dark foliage. Yeah. Uh, an old variety named Matthew, again, something that's probably not familiar to any of the I viewers. I haven't even heard of that one. It's, a, it's that a neat one. one. It's, it's similar to a Floribunda, but it's a, it's a whiter whiter uh, form, whiter flower form. Okay, uh, bronze leaf or green leaf? It's a green leaf. Yeah. And we have Pupihensis, which is a bright white flower. It's fairly common as well. It's an older tree, but yeah, uh, yeah for the most, I think for the most part, those are the varieties that we have. And the most common variety we have here is the yeah. Floribunda. Oh, neat. So if you've got a, a full sun area, fairly good soil, crab apple will work for you? Crab apples are great. They're a great small tree and, and the benefits are, you know, are wonderful for a small garden and there's not a lot of pest problems that we deal with here. Perfect. Thanks a lot.